We're at the University of Wisconsin Sheboygan where the Lady Wombats are getting ready to take on Harper College. Hello everybody, my name is Mike Martin and joining me is the coach, Chris Wright. Chris, coming in, uh, Sheboygan's only got one game under their belt, their 0-1. Uh, I don't know if that means much. Harper College comes in 0-4. And uh, big thing with Sheboygan, however, is they're missing their starting point guard, Tammy Miller, who's got a sprained ankle. Well, the first thing I noticed, I was looking at the stats, they uh, dropped the first, the opening game, uh, 80 to 46 to UW Waukesha, but the number one thing I saw was 45 uh, turnovers. Uh, not having your point guard is, uh, tonight, it's not gonna make it easy for them. One of the things as we've covered these games over the years, they, they do seem to be uh, turnover prone. Uh, and a lot of that has to do with, with uh, your point guard and how the guard play uh, pans out. And uh, with Miller out, uh, that's gonna fall, the point guard is gonna fall on the shoulders of Sandy Lizaway and uh, Jackie Kramer. And they'll have to step up and take the place there. And it is early in the season, they're still getting their feet wet. Uh, for those of you that don't know, Harper College comes from uh, Palantine, Illinois. So they, they had a haul today, but uh, they, they lost their, their first four games as well. Their uh, head coach, Heather Cush, is in her first year. She was uh, four years as an assistant. So she's got five years at the college. On the flip side, Penny Molesky has uh, 15 years out here as the volleyball coach and uh, 14 years as basketball coach. And here you get a good shot at Penny. Uh, she's had a very successful program over the years. Yes, yes, and uh, something just to come accustomed to, to seeing her out here all the time and uh, had very a lot of success in the 90s, but the last few years struggling with numbers and things. So hopefully things will turn around this year for her. They're getting ready to uh, introduce the starting lineup, so uh, I will too. Let's start off with Harper College. They're going to start uh, number 23, Natalie Bugalowski. Number 21, Jane Corzin. Number 20, Dominique Shorb. Number 32, Candice Inwood, Indlewood, pardon me. And number 33, Megan Harris. There you see those. Uh, players heading out on the court. <clears throat> Starting for Sheboygan, familiar name, number 12, Beth Tudis. Tudis' is, uh, dad was a head football coach at Sheboygan, teaches uh, in the Sheboygan Area School District. Starting number 20, Tammy Sandy Lizaway. Lizaway will be playing that point guard spot. Number 22, Becky Kissinger. Uh, and talking to uh, Penny, Kissinger's name came up and uh, they're depending a lot on her also. Number 24, Samantha Obink, and then rounding out the starting lineup, there you see her number 44, Nikki Schmidt. Our uh, officials tonight will be uh, Terry Verstrati, Scott Otten, and Scott Staus, and uh, familiar faces, and uh, three good ones. We're gonna shut up for a minute and uh, listen to the national anthem. And he is uh, assisted by Joyce Eberly. She's been out here a long time too. And uh, Heather Cush is assisted by Cheryl Jed. And there's your erstwhile announcers. <laughs> Great shot, Brian. Best one all night. <laughs> <laughs> Basketball season already, Marty. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if we want to apologize, but uh, we want to let our uh, viewers know that there will not be uh, coaches, high school coaches basketball show like we've done uh, most seasons and uh, that was 
mostly falls on my shoulders. I didn't get that organized. And uh, part of the reason I didn't was uh, the football season ran so long. And uh, not to make excuses, but uh, that was one of the reasons why. Tip-off is uh, controlled by uh, Harper College. Shot is rebounded by Harris. Shot is up and off. Again, uh, almost rebounded by Harper College, but uh, taking it in for Sheboygan was Obink. Obink over to Kissinger. A good back screen, a shot off the glass by Schmidt is no good. And Harper College has it. Harper's Shorb. looking to run right away. Yeah, Shorb had it over to uh, Indlewood. Inside, shot is off, no good by Harris, but she's followed by Nikki Schmidt. Well, as I look over in the benches here, there's just three for Harper and two for Sheboygan. And you got three officials. Hopefully, there's Hopefully they can keep control. <laughs> I, I was gonna say, I hope they don't follow them all out. Few girls didn't make the trip you said for Harper and they were in class tonight. Uh, Coach uh, Cush mentioned that those two girls had to be in class and uh, couldn't make the trip. They had to leave early. You know, it's a long, long ways. She said it took them over two hours to get here. Well, that and uh, as you said in the opening, Tammy Miller not being in the lineup as well for Sheboygan. On top of it is Lizaway being closely guarded. Yeah, that's why you see. Uh, Scott Obink uh, looking for a back cut by uh, Kissinger, but uh, she broke out to the wing and the ball sails out of bounds. Another turnover by uh, Sheboygan. Well, the uh, Sheboygan shot 33%, which isn't too bad for the opening night, but as I said, it gets magnified when you have 45 turnovers. Isn't that the truth? Golski had it. Harper looking to swing it. Sheboygan in a man-to-man -man defense. Clock running down, shot is up and good by Shorb, and then she's fouled. Foul is called on Beth Tudis, that's her first and the second team foul. Harper on top three to nothing early. We're at 18.33 the first half. Well, as we said, Harper comes in at 0-4, so fifth game, just Sheboygan second. Well, so. You know, sometimes having those extra games, even though they're losses, that does uh, help in your development for sure. Lizaway almost with a turnover. Almost a double dribble. Kissinger makes a nice little move to the basket. Her shot rolls off, no good. Rebounded by Indlewood. Becky, of course, Usberg, second year player, as you said in the opening, should uh, look to her to score. Shot is off, no good. Tudis on the rebound. She got almost, I thought she was going to get away with a double dribble, but a good call by Scott Otten. Well, Harper seems to uh, run the offense pretty good. They have a pretty good feel for what's happening. Tossing it in was Korzen. Pugalski's got it. Shaking and bacon, but Lizaway does a good job of defending. Shot is off the glass and in by Korzen. Looked a little like Tom Fritch on that shot. <laughs> Use that backboard. Lizaway over to Tudis. Looking inside, Schmidt looked like she was open. They didn't get it to her. Kissinger kicks it out to Obink. And Schmidt kisses it off the glass for two. And then we get a timeout by Sheboygan right after the basket. So it's 17.25. We have a 30 second timeout, so we better keep it here, Kerry. Tonight's crew, we have uh, Kerry Kautzer in the truck spinning the dials. Annie McKillop on the top camera. You see his shot right there, and Brian Andrews on the floor camera. I wonder if it's too windy for Andy tonight. Yeah, really? <laughs> he actually doesn't have to wear a jacket, but he does have a sweatshirt on. 
And of course, Chris Wright and myself, Mike Martin, bringing you tonight's ball game. First one of the basketball season for 2004, 2005. Hey, I picked up my basketball Bible on uh, on uh, Sunday. There you see Andy, on the top camera. Next week we'll be here, right, for Marinette, I believe. Yep. The guys will be playing that night. And uh, that's a that's a busy week next week because we have that game on Monday here, and then uh, we're at South on Friday. West uh, Green Bay West invades first conference uh, Fox River Valley conference game of the season. Well, one three one trapping zone by Sheboygan. Shot is up and no good. Corzin misses it. Pulled down by Kissinger. Good pressure by Harper. Pass into uh, Schmidt. Her shot from the free throw line is up and in. She has four points and it's six to four, Harper. Mickey took the uh, Molesky, Penny Molesky trying to uh, pick up the pace by switching defenses. I was gonna say Mickey uh, had the Pass. most shot attempts the other day as well. Indlewood with a easy two as uh, Harper broke the half court trap. Goes away break, dribbles it off her foot, and then uh, Bugalski uh, reaches in and commits the first team foul, and her first foul for uh, Harper. Case there where she played good solid defense, problem was she decided to reach in, and the official's just standing there, that's gonna be called almost every time. That's so tempting too when the ball's kinda sitting out there, you wanna reach for it. Schmidt uh, dribbles it off her foot. How many you got? Three. Hey, I'm right with you, baby. <laughs> <laughs> That's turnovers, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Another new defense here again. Nice kick out pass, the shot is up and in by Indlewood, her second hoop. Sure seems like the basket attempts are a lot easier for Harper so far than Sheboygan. Yeah, you're right, and more frequent too. Ball's knocked away, but Olbank had it and then tried a little bounce pass over to Schmidt and it went out of bounds. Olbank from Cedar Grove. Nobody from uh, the city of Sheboygan on the team. Everybody from the surrounding county. Uh, coming in for uh, Sheboygan. Jackie Kramer, I believe that is, 32, yes. Blocking foul by Harper's Corzin. And Corzin knew it too. Yeah, no, no argument. That's Kramer bringing it up. Kramer spelling Liz away. And uh, she immediately commits a turnover. We're at 15.39 of the first half. Harper on top, 10 to four. Sheboygan's been uh, pretty aggressive in terms of uh, changing the defense and trying to uh, mix things up. Now they're back into a straight man-to-man uh, -man defense. Inside pass to Indlewood. Oh, she likes that glass, Chris. Shot is off. Rebound by Corzin is up and no good. And then uh, we have a whistle stopping action. Ball goes on Harris. That's a third team fall on Harper. Girls go with a 30 second shot clock in uh, college. But no 10 second clock right for the right for the mid court situation. Boys go with uh, oh, a nice little give and go. Kramer gets it on the inside. Shot off the glass is no good. Actually that was Kissinger, pardon me. Well, you're not gonna get much better look than that. You got that right. Drive to the hoop is off. Shorb missing it. Shorb gets the rebound and puts it up and in. It's 12 to four. Harper on top. Shot is off by Schmidt. She gets the rebound, puts it up and in. Uh, pardon me, up and off, but is fouled. Nikki Schmidt going hard to the basket, Oosberg product. 
Kissinger and Becky Kissinger. Ball is on Harris, her second. Schmidt's free throw is up and in. And uh, we don't have that number on our program. We'll, we'll find that out shortly. Schmidt's second free throw is up and in. That makes the score 12 to six. That might be Rauschenberg, 24 instead of 34 from the program. Shot is up and in by uh, Shorb, and she has seven points. Leading all scores. They're getting good looks, Marty. Well, Sheboygan had a couple of good looks, didn't put them down. Tudis from outside the line. Shot is off, no good. Rebound by Indlewood. Ugalski. Over to Rauschenberg. Rauschenberg is tied up. Good aggressive play by uh, Nikki Schmidt to tie up uh, Rauschenberg. Kramer with a long pass. It's broken up. Corzin uh, stepping in. Marty. Another 30 second timeout. I'm going to check and see who number 24 is. I'll be right back. Well, good start for Harper so far. Definitely the more experienced team in games played. And they show it with the 15 to 6 lead with 13 33 left here in the first half. Sheboygan, on the other hand, struggling to get baskets. And again, Five early turnovers have really cost them. Excuse me, six early turnovers has cost Sheboygan. I missed one. It is Rauschenberg in the program that they uh, printed up for us. Uh, Melissa Rauschenberg is listed as number 34. Aaron Jules says here is from Nina. I wonder if that's Nina, Wisconsin, maybe. Ugalski has it tipped away. Kissinger on a lead piece to pass the Tudis. Obink's shot is off, no good. Rebound by Kissinger, and then she's fouled by Indlewood. That's the fifth team foul on uh, Harper. Sheboygan sitting with two. Pass into Tudis is tipped away by Shorb. Sheboygan will keep it. You see uh, number 20, Dominique Shorb. Number 20, she's uh, played a good game so far, Chris. Yep, from Buffalo Grove, Illinois. Uh, they got Tudis listed as Howard's Grove, and that's uh, where she finished off her high school career, but uh, she did go to North for a while. Yep, nice board there. Yeah, good uh, rebound shot, put back by uh, Kissinger. Her first two points of the night makes it 15-8, uh, Harper, with uh, just under 13 minutes remaining in the first half. Now they're spreading them out. Zone's working. Indlewood kicks it over to Shorb, and she knocks home another one. She's got uh -huh. nine points tonight. Four of six shooting early. Tudis has it. Looking for an open player and gets it over to uh, Schmidt, but uh, she can't handle it. It's kicked out of bounds. Lizaway coming in. Tudis steps out. Belsky had it. Indlewood uh, slides her foot. 
travels. How many turnovers for them, Chris? Three. No place to go there, Marty. No, actually, Sheboygan, I thought, played pretty good defense cutting off the baseline. And then uh, somebody else slid in and prevented that pass to the middle. Ugalski uh, intercepts that telegraph pass by Kramer. And uh, on the layup attempt, Kramer able to recover and knock it out of bounds. But uh, again, not a good pass. Well, we're not even eight minutes into the game, and we've got, I've got them for eight turnovers. That's not a good thing. Good D again. Yep. yep. They, uh, yeah, I don't know if Kerry's got replay tonight, but uh, they did that little cross screen, and uh, Sheboygan really covered it up because they were looking to get the ball to the screener. We went across. Now, if we had a telestrator, Chris, you know, you could show our fans how that all works. I know it's in the budget. Are we planting a seed? <laughs> it's in the budget. <laughs> of course, you know what we could do? Oh. Traveling by Kramer and uh, another turnover. But you know, what? We, we did this at a South game years ago. I just took a pad of paper and yep. drew it up and. Yep, I was with you. <laughs> yep. <laughs> We worked a little weak side defense. Yeah, really. Inline defense. <laughs> it was uh, defense 101. Harper looks like they're in a zone on the inbounds. Well, maybe not. Schmidt driving the lane. Shot is off, no good. Indlewood with the rebound. 17 to eight, Harper on top. Outside the line, Bugalski's shot is no good. Shore with the rebound, has her shot blocked. Rauschenberg's shot is no good, and finally Schmidt comes away with it. Well, Kessinger had Lizaway open, didn't throw it. Instead does a one-on-one -on -one move, gets, works her way in for a layup, and then misses it. And a whistle. All goes on Bugalski, her second. And uh, boy, you don't want to lose her. She's uh, really key to their team. Tudis back in and Kramer steps out. Kissinger from way outside knocks it home. Way outside is right and a much, much needed basket. All of a sudden, 17 to 11 doesn't, doesn't look so bad. And all of a sudden, the defense intensity picks up, and they're going to get a reach here on Beth. Tough foul. Yeah, her second. But she shouldn't be reaching in there. Yeah, she took a pretty good swipe at it. Came up light. I think we got some blood. Oh, no, not that. Full time out by Harper. We'll take a short break and be right back. With 11-10 remaining, it's Harper 17-11. I'm not talking until we go to a break. <laughs> a little split lip, huh, Chris? That's what yeah. it looked like. Minor cut back in the game. Thought if she was, I guess if they took a timeout, she doesn't have to come out of the game, huh? Right. 
Oh, no, she's putting it on her jersey. <laughs> That's a bad thing. <laughs> Just for the opponent. Rauschenberg had it, kicks it back out. Rauschenberg gets hammered after the shot. Lana Athorp made contact after the shot. Let's see if they give her three. Yep, they are. Boy, there's a little momentum going there and take that little time out and all of a sudden another big mistake there as people will find out. Fine jump shooters, one of my pet peeves. Oh, I've heard that somewhere before. <laughs> And uh, that one was... Well, we've been working together. <laughs> For as long as we've been working together, you've been saying that. I figure that uh, there'd be new people that hear this line once or twice, but just... She's uh 20 I'll tell you, Rauschenberg has got a great form on the line. Look at that backspin that well, put the hand in a cookie jar. 20 feet away from the basket, you shouldn't be following people. Yeah, take a look at this form, boy. Boom. Three in a row, hat trick time. And nobody wants to catch the throw in. They all run down. And they all run back. You know, get four yellow jerseys all run down with their head looking at the floor. Well, Indlewood playing good defense on Schmidt. Yeah, I think uh, Sheboygan really wants to bang it inside if they can. They are giving them opportunities. Kissinger moving, moving. Shot is off, no good. But I'll tell you, that's uh, two really fine moves by Becky Kissinger, but uh, you got to finish. And good patience by Sheboygan. Shot by Shorb is up and in. It's a two-pointer. She has 11 points, leads all scores. She has half of uh, Harper's points. She's equal to Sheboygan's output. Nice lob pass into Schmidt. Her shot off the glass is up and good, and Rauschenberg's going to get called for the foul. It has eight points. She's two for two from the line so far tonight. See, that wasn't the kiss of death. Jane Corzin, uh, whoa, got away with a big time. Palm there, short from outside the line. Bango. Wow. Ooh, is she hot? Little uh, split lip doesn't bother her. Nope. Ryan Rush in the house. Kissinger tried to throw a bounce pass across the lane, but uh, committed a turnover. And Sheboygan gets it right back. Taking it hard to the hoop is Kissinger. She got that one up and in. She has seven points. Gina Gorak had it. There's Shorb again, wide open. Oh, nice pass. Nice block by Schmidt on a little give and go. Kissinger's got it on the bust out. And uh, Shorb gets back on defense and knocks it away. Good hustle. By Dominique. You see Scott Staus standing next to uh, Coach Kush. Obink uh, cross court pass to uh, Kissinger. Whoops. Ball is tipped out of bounds. There's four seconds left on the shot clock. Turn and shoot. Oh, Kissinger wants to put it on the floor and then gets a foul called on Jane Corzin. Not good defense that time. Kissinger is going to be at the line shooting the bonus. Eighth foul on Harper. Sheboygan's been deadly from the line, Chris. They're a four for four. 
I know they took 25 free throws at 15 the other day, 60%. Not too bad for an opening night. 25 free throws in the game is a lot, too. Yeah. That free throw is short, but I think we're going to have a violation on Harper. Kissinger will get this throw over. They set this up different than they used two years ago, too. Ah, oh, she gets that second one in. 25 to 18, we're uh, just under nine minutes left in the half. Whoa. Well, Corzin, uh, not quite the ball handler that Bugalski is. And uh, Harper's struggling a little bit with uh, Natalie Bugalski out. It almost looked like she kept her hand on top. Well, that makes up for the call he missed before. Well, it looked bad, but... Kissinger has Schmidt inside. She gets the pass and hooks it up and off. No good. Harper's Gina Gorak got the rebound. Sharp dribbles right up and shoots it, but no good. Harper uh, quick to the ball, got the loose one, but uh, Kissinger stole it away. Well, pass by Lizaway is intercepted. A little back and forth action. Shore off, no good. One of the few misses she's had in the first half. And then we got a foul on Obink. Oh, she hits all those from outside, and then the easiest one you miss. <laughs> yeah, really, isn't that the truth? That's only the uh, fourth team fall on Sheboygan, so uh, Harper will not be shooting free throws. Hindlewood stops and pops, and she's got it. She's got a nice looking shot, too. That's her third basket of the half, but uh, all of them been relatively short, but uh, she's knocked them in. They all seem to be open shots, too, where Sheboygan struggles. There seems to be a... Hawk player right in their face every time they shoot. Kramer has it tipped away. Gorak got it back. Good hustle by uh, Gina. She's open from 18. No good. Timeout by Sheboygan is a full timeout. With uh, 7.17 remaining in the first half, Harper College up 27 to 18. I love the challenge of computers. Not that I have much time with these little guys and my job, but when my wife went back to school, I thought, why can't I? Certain things in life demand my attention, but a new career in computer science deserves my attention. An evening class at Lakeland doesn't tie my life in knots, thanks to a flexible, easy to manage schedule that allows me to balance work, school, and the twins. Evening classes that meet once a week, <laughs> that's the easy part. see Dean Tudis, daughter Beth, playing tonight. That might be his dad, too. Port Washington. Yep, not too far away. I didn't do any foot baseball games down there this year. Kissinger trying to drive baseline, and uh, she falls hard to the floor, and she's hurt. Well, the foul is going to go on Corzan. That'll be their third, and Kissinger is down. And I'll be honest with you, I thought that Corzan just sat there and just got plowed into and get the call on uh, third foul on Corzan. Well, they're all tending to Kissinger. I wonder if she has to come out now. 
Put in substitute free throw shooter. I'm ready. I was just going to say, are you ready? Well, they're going to have to uh, bring her out of the game. Where is that replay when you want it? Well, we could have seen the defense on that, uh, on Corzin. I thought she was sliding, Chris. I thought uh, Kissinger, you know, forced the issue. You thought you thought Corzin was pretty much stationary. And we'll never know. That's a call for you. We'll never know. Coming in to shoot the free throws is Sandy Lizaway. What was Lizaway in that first game? Sandy. All for all for. Okay, so she's perfect on the season. <laughs> <laughs> and remains that way. <laughs> Fake an injury, so you come out, have a perfect season. Thought of Anthony Davis did that on Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> the whole team did. <laughs> Bugalski's got it. Uh, Harper's on top, 27 to 20, and Sheboygan has uh, silently uh, closed that lead. Indlewood's uh, turnaround shot is uh, no good, but she's fouled. It's either going to be on Schmidt or on Athorp. Lana gets it. That's her second, I believe. Might be Lena, too. Lena or Athorp. Isn't she the one that had the big foul in the corner? Yep, you're right. And he got two up on the board, too. Indlewood. Made that first free throw. They're keeping the pressure on Sheboygan. You know, Sheboygan closes a little bit, changes the defense, gets a little bit of a run, and they just come right back and uh, put in a free throw or two or make a basket. Sharp guarding Kramer. And the ball is tapped out of bounds. Well, Sheboygan's done a much better taking care of the ball here the last six or seven minutes. Oh, Schmidt wide open from the free throw lane. Can't get it. Nothing but air. And rebounded by Rauschenberg. Sharp going hard. Got away with a travel, I thought. Shot is off. No good. Lizaway running the court. Kissinger, a little crossover move. Left hand layup is up and in. Becky Kissinger. She has 11 points. Ball is kicked. Right. Lead whistle, but uh, correct call. No. Threw it off her foot. There you see Sandy Lizaway. Reset the shot clock. 6 11 remaining. Short from outside the line. Gets a good look, but uh, can't get it to go. And Kissinger has it. Not making good decisions, Harper. They're letting them back in the game at the free throw line. Yep. And uh, Wigan will get two. And Kissinger, who has two for two tonight, will be at the line, Chris. Short's cooled off. Missed her last four, four in a row. Well, they got to start getting it to Indlewood. Oh, well, another free throw can cut the lead down to five. And will that be the closest? This is the closest it's been in a long time, too. Six right now. Keep making them free throws. Get themselves back in. Nine for nine in the first half, Sheboygan is. 
Gorak had it. Indlewood setting a good screen and do a little pick and roll. A nice run play by Harper and Indlewood's gonna get fouled and uh, go to the line. Just says it's coached. Yep, set the pick. Player helps out, roll to the basket. Should have maybe done a bounce pass though, but. Uh, Indlewood is two for two. They get three. Ball went on uh, Kissinger, that was her first. Team seventh, so Harper will be at the line the rest of the half. Kissinger, long pass down to Kramer, and Indlewood commits the foul. That's going to be her second. For a minute there, I thought it was her third. Going to the line, shooting a pair will be uh, Jackie Kramer. Kramer's first attempt to, at a free throw in this ball game is off no good. Boys have been doing a pretty good job out here. I think they're 2-0. Oh. Yep, at least, yep. Indlewood uh, got the rebound, and Bugalski's got it. Shorb, bango, what a three-pointer. Well, you gotta get out on her. That's her second three-pointer. And another turnover, just when they didn't need it. Boy, they had it down to uh, five points. Now it's back up to nine. Gulski's bounce pass into Rauschenberg is uh, out of bounds. Eighth turnover for them. Kramer bringing it up against pressure. and She falls down and loses it. Sharp shot is off no good. Gorax rebound put back is up and in. Gina Gorak's first basket with uh, 4.30 remaining. Sheboygan now down nine again. Rauschenberg uh, battling hard against Kissinger inside. Kissinger's shot is off. Schmidt's rebound shot is off. Indlewood uh, almost committed the foul and pulled back. And Sheboygan continues to have control. Kissinger going hard to the hoop, underlays, and uh, Harper comes away with it. Boy, they had a lot of nice shots, Chris. Yeah, all underneath, too. Well, Harper not only dodged a bullet from having Sheboygan score, but they also dodged a bullet from having one of their top players, Candace Inglewood, committing her third fall. Gorak uh, bricks one. Dominique Shorb getting a little heat from the coach. <laughs> what are you doing, girl? <laughs> Not a smart play. No, they're all fouls, basically. Well, yeah. uh, 47 <laughs> 90 feet. feet from the basket. <laughs> well, yeah. well, maybe not that far, but further than 47, too. I was going to say, of course. <laughs> <laughs> well, Kissinger is going to go to the line, and uh, she's been letter perfect four for four so far. <laughs> Darn, I hate that when it happens. Here's the humble crew again. We've aged the last 40 minutes. <laughs> that one's up and in. <laughs> 14 points for Kissinger. Schmidt uh, rips it away from Rauschenberg. But it is a jump ball situation and the arrow points in the Harper's direction, so they'll keep it. 328 remaining, Harper on top, 10, 35-25. 
Shore pushes it hard to the hoop and got it up and in. Holy mackerel. E, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. 17, 19 first half points, Chris. Seven for 19 shooting. I think she's got 19 shots. I'll have to check that at the break. Oop, ball is almost tipped away and finally is stolen by Bugalski. She's pushing it hard to the hoop. Her layup is up and in. And you know, she only has two points in the ball game, but I'll tell you, she's had a very big impact on the game. Yeah, she delivers good passes. She's point guard, just two turnovers, and Natalie does play Bu good D. Yeah, Natalie Bugalski. She's from Central Lake Central. Excuse me, Crystal Lake Central. That'd be kind of redundant. A little back screen. Schmidt saves it, but it goes out of bounds. Another turnover, Sheboygan. And all of a sudden, uh, Harper taking big control. It's uh, 39 to 25. And the turnovers are starting to mount again. 16. Mm, one only goes up to 15. Nice inside feed to Indlewood, who Ouch. puts it up and in off a good pass by Natalie Bugalski. Just like that, a 16 point lead, Marty. Yep, and they had it down to five at one point. 29-24. Lizaway's shot is up and good. She has four points in the half. Nice, uh, get it back under double digits going in the half. Yeah, really reset the... We're under two minutes left in the half. Back to a 2-1-2 two -two zone for Sheboygan, the Lady Wombats. Both teams in the bonus. Oh. Shorb has it, and she's fouled. Reaching in was uh, Samantha Obink. And uh, Shorb will be uh, shooting the one and one. And yeah, Jones coming up. She's from Schomburg. Isn't there a mall in Schomburg? I was just going to say there must be shop in there, but I don't <laughs> shop until December. And she's coming up. I think there's, uh, let's not count today, there's 36 shopping days left. They have a little calendar in the office, wow. shopping days till Christmas. Indlewood with another steal and another turnover, Sheboygan. Harper taking their time. As they should. Yeah, Gorak had it into Indlewood, kicks it out. Good decision. Rauschenberg pass inside is taken away by uh, Nikki Schmidt. One minute remaining. Kissinger going hard to the hoop. Puts it up, no good, it's blocked. Sharp got the block, or pardon me, Indlewood, number 20, 32. Got my twos mixed up. I think Becky's a little tired, couldn't get the ball up above her head there. She's had a lot of minutes this half. Well, I think the only time she sat out is when she uh, Took that hard fall. Dominique Shorb's shot is off. And then uh, Bugalski commits her third foul, coach. And uh, coming in for Harper, seeing her first action of the first half will be uh, Nia Jones. Yep, They're trying to get her in here. And I think uh, Bugalski is uh, heading for the bench with that third foul. Well, Shorb, the only time she misses is when she's inside. <laughs> yeah, isn't that terrible? I wish I had that problem. <laughs> Lena Athorpe's shot is up and good. Second shot is off. Shorb has it. Going hard to the hoop. And Ivaleski not happy. Falls on Sandy Lizaway, her first. Well, in 26 seconds, she'll hear more than just a sentence, I'm sure. <laughs> I 
old ladies will. Dominique was one for one until the last two trips to the line. Now she's one for three. Shot clock off, Marty. That's 20 points in the first half. Nia Jones uh, almost had the steal. A pass attempt to uh, Schmidt is stolen away by Indlewood and then uh, Harper's Dominique Shorb commits the travel violation and Sheboygan will have it with 16.6 seconds remaining. Down 14. Bank has it down to 14 seconds. Down to 10. Pass inside to Schmidt. Seven. Hook shot is off. She battles for it. Two seconds. Shot is off and no good, and that's the half. Harper College on top. 42 to 28. Across the country, Americans are rolling up their sleeves to help each other. Showing true strength of character and kindness and compassion. Spirit and enthusiasm. Together, we make America strong. Find out how you can serve, no matter where you are in life, at nationalservice.org. It's your world. It's your chance to make it better. Apply online at nationalservice.org and answer the president's call to service. Properly inflating my tires burns less fuel and saves me money on gas. Yeah, I'm saving Mother Nature from pollution, but more importantly, she saved me 11 bucks. Ow! Environmental events, get green. By keeping my car regularly tuned, I save money on gas and repairs. That also means cleaner air. You know, feels good to help save the cash planet. Environmental events, get green. For more tips, go to getgreen.com. We're back at UW Sheboygan, and there you see uh, Penny Molesky talking to uh, her team. They trail at halftime, 42 to 28, to a Harper College, and uh, the stats tell a definite story in uh, this ball game. Chris Sheboygan was uh, eight for 27, which is about 29 percent, and uh, the key stat, however, was not the shooting inaccuracy, but the turnovers. He had 18 turnovers. A uh, Harper. Hit on 15 of 33 for about 45. And there you see uh, Ryan Rush. That's my nephew. He's a good looking guy. <laughs> he doesn't know he's on camera. <laughs> Sitting right next to me. Anyway, they uh, hit on 15 of 33 for about 45%. But uh, the big story for Harper was Dominique Shorb, who hit on for who hit for 21 points in the first half. Yeah, eight for 16 shooting, three for four from three point line. So they got a Number one, take care of the ball, Sheboygan, that is. And uh, second, uh, figure out where uh, Dominique is on the floor. She attempted 16 of the uh, 33 shots in that first half. Who just looking to go baseline. Her shot is off. But uh, Kissinger rebounds and puts it up and in. Becky Kissinger has 16 points. She had 14 in the first half. Nikki Schmidt had nine uh, for uh, Harper. Candace Lind. Wood had 11, and then uh, nobody scored more than three for uh, Harper after that. Foul's a problem, Marty, for anybody? Yeah. For uh, Kissinger, that's only her second. Actually, the foul problems lie on uh, with Harper, with uh, Korsen with three, and Bugalski with three. Bugalski was a key component of uh, Harper's first half, handling the ball, playing good defense. See if that becomes a factor later on. Well, Megan Harris uh, started the ball game, but uh, played very little in the first half. She starts again in the second half. And uh, has the same beginning. She made one out of two free throws early on and uh, one out of two free throws here. Wolbank's shot is off no good, and Lindwood Gets the rebound. Indlewood. Oh, 
Harper committed just 11 turnovers in that first half. I think it's number 12. About the same number of possessions, but uh, many more opportunities when you don't turn the ball over for Harper. Lizzo, we having a little trouble on the dribble? Just joining us, Tammy Mueller is missing. Point guard for Sheboygan. Lizaway's shot is off. Rauschenberg with the rebound. Well, I like the fact that at least they're getting shots up. Rauschenberg's shot is no good. Shorb uh, and uh, Obink battling for the rebound. And uh, Harper will have the possession. Ball is tipped away by Tudis, but Harper is able to uh, come up with it. Travel. Short with a little stutter step. I think she did that uh, once in the first half. Actually took a little extra hop on her way to the basket. I thought wasn't called. Deep pass to Kissinger. She goes baseline. Nice move. Yeah, reverse layup is off though. And uh, she's had that problem a lot tonight. Uh, working her way in for good shots, but then not finishing. She's five for 13 tonight. Kissinger, that is. Pass inside the Tudis. She gets the shot off, but uh, it's no good. Bugalski looks really smooth out there. And Indlewood again pops it up and in. She has 13. She's got a nice looking jump shot. And again, like you were saying in the first half, Chris, uh, they get some wide open shots. Well, Kissinger uh, didn't want to take the chance on throwing it over to Schmidt on the back cut. Seen this before. Yeah, reverse layup is no good. Obink comes up with it. Good hustle by her. Tudis, three-point shot is good. Beth Tudis. Finally off to Schneid. One for five shooting. Need her to get in the flow a little bit. They're going to climb back in here. Nine points in the opening game. Just her first three of the game here tonight. Obank gets away with a push. Good pass inside to Harris, and she gets an easy two. Give Bogulski a big assist on that play. Well, we've talked over and over. It's just two points, but boy, what a difference she makes when she can make all those assists. Pass inside to Kissinger is tipped away. Indlewood uh, has it. Harper on top, 47 to 33. Sheboygan got to within uh, five points at 29 to uh, 24. And uh, from that point, uh, Harper dominated the rest of the half. A good shot of Penny Molesky. Giving instructions to the troops. See how they respond here. Pass is tipped by Bogulski and uh, add defense to that. But another turnover by Sheboygan. Don't miss that T. Shorb, shot is off, no good. Kissinger with good hustle. She goes in for the layup and got it. She has 18 points. Sheboygan within 12, 15 55 remaining in the ball game. Rare tur turnover. Obink stops and pops. Can't get it to go. Rauschenberg with the rebound. Shorb going down Main Street. Shot is off. Indlewood shot is no good, but she's fouled. 
Tutis, I believe, is going to get called for that one. That's her third. Candace Indle with 11 rebounds so far, and we still have over 15 minutes to play. Shot is no good. Sheboygan will keep it. Did you miss both of those, Chris? I believe she did. Tudis on the run. Rauschenberg playing pretty good defense. And Tudis forces it up and in. A little dipsy do. I like that a heck of a lot better than turnovers. Yeah, really. Sheboygan's coming out much more aggressive, shooting the ball. Well, I think what happened, you know, Rauschenberg stopped her on the baseline, and when she uh, turned back to the middle, they kind of relaxed just a little bit. Oh, it's too bad. That would have been the old psychological thing, getting under double figures, but out on the breakout, here comes the Harpers. Shorb had a wide open layup and uh, missed it. Uh-oh. <laughs> Natalie Bugalski's picked up her fourth foul. Tell you what. Dominique Shore might go back to uh, Palatine, Illinois tonight. The leading scorer, but I'd have her back in the gym working on layups. I thought I shot a lot. This is an interesting situation. Harper was somewhat of a foul situation. Mm. Trouble, now they're full court pressing. It could only lead to uh, more foul trouble. They don't uh, watch it. A decision there, good pass, Bath. And then uh, Kissinger loses it on the inside. And off of Shorb, and uh, Sheboygan's gonna get it back. They're down 10, and uh, making a bit of a run again. Yeah, five turnovers for Harper here in the second half when they only had 11 after the first. Kissinger, jump shot from eight feet out is no good. A lot of golden opportunities for her. Another Indlewood rebound, making an even dozen. Good pass. <laughs> the action is hot and heavy. <laughs> Melissa <laughs> didn't come to the ball. Shorb shot is off. That's because she's too, too close. Keep reminding her she should stay outside. Anytime she drives in and try to make a layup, she can't. Tudis uh, again throwing one up, but this time she gets called for the travel. <laughs> Becky Kissinger uh, coming off, getting a well-deserved rest. She is uh, red-cheeked and uh, very winded. Coming in for her is Lena Athorp. Good switch defense. Oh, and they get short for an offensive foul. That's her uh, third. Fouls are Mount Horizon has three. Shorb has three. Megan Harris has three. And Natalie Bugalski's got four. I'd maybe go to a zone if I was uh, Harper. Good pass inside. Schmidt's shot is way off. And a uh, good hustle by Athorp, but uh, she was not able to knock it off of uh, Dominique Shorb, so Harper will get it back. Pass in Rauschenberg, looking to go to the basket, makes a nice pass to Harris for an easy two. Melissa Rauschenberg making the nice uh, pass and pitch. Tudis, a uh, fallen away jump shot is off. Let's go, let's go. 
Hindlewood uh, gets hammered. Tudis got her in the face. But I think they're going to get Athorpe on the foul. She's committed three hard fouls. Well, if you're going to commit one, like I always say, hit them hard. Full time out for Sheboygan. We'll take a short break and be right back with uh, 12.58 remaining. It's uh, Harper 49, Sheboygan 37. There's a new experience around every corner as you discover Wisconsin. Wisconsin like you've never seen before. Back here in Sheboygan, there you get some of the fans that are here. I think they're saying if we score six baskets before they score any, we'll be tied. Only if they're two-pointers. Correct. Which would be just fine. That's one thing when uh, you know when we do these games, uh, the, the rosters are never real full. There's Brian Andrews. Show him your put your eye out from behind that camera, Brian. Show him your face. There we go. <laughs> Good shot, Andy. I think Brian and Andrea are real happy to be uh, in basketball season. Well, I don't know. It was a fun season this year, and uh, weather was. Oh, actually, we had some bad nights this year. We had a couple of rainy ones. Yeah, but not too cold. Just that day to Madison was pretty cold. Yeah. Well, we got Andy in a pretty good position that game when uh, he was able to be in front of the press box. The press box provided a good windbreak for him. If he'd have been, <laughs> if he'd have been on top, he'd have been blown over. Or oh, where the times. South fans were. Holy mackerel. Yeah, they were getting it right in their face. I saw where uh, Ben Miller made second team All-State. And uh, Jacob Pfeiffer and uh, Will Hartman made honorable mention All-State. So Sheboygan uh, South was well represented in the state teams. As they should have been because uh, they had some excellent players. That fall goes on Jackie Kramer, her first. Rauschenberg's uh, free throw is off. She was uh, three for three in the first half. Showed really great form. Sheboygan just can't get that little pushed. Yeah, it seems like Harper's always got an answer. Ball tipped away by Harris. Shot is up and in by Jackie Kramer. Her first bucket. Yeah, she didn't show that kind of offensive spark in the first half. Shore run a little bit of the point now. Drive to the hoop is up and in by Jane Corzin. And a foul. Foul is on Jackie Schmidt, her second. You know, it's interesting how uh, players seem to respond to different roles on the court. Now, Bugalski was obviously their main point guard, but uh, Corzin didn't do a very good job with that and seemed to suffer with that. But uh, put uh, Dominique Shorb, their big scorer, out there, and uh, she looked pretty smooth. Corzin puts it in. She has five points in the ball game. I think Kramer wanted to shoot it, but they stepped out on her, and then when she tried to dish it off, she threw it away. Shorb got hammered, no call. Kissinger, no good. 
Rauschenberg says, no way, Dominique, just run down the court. <laughs> I'll take it this time. Feed inside to Harris for Indlewood. Back out. Sharp, you're right. She was too close on all those other shots. Yep. See, she just missed an our layup. Her yeah. first basket here. Well, I think she got hammered on that layup attempt, though. But anyway, that's her fourth three pointer of the ball game. Nine for 23 shooting. 23 shots already. Wow. It's almost at one a minute. If I need that, I'll watch you on Wednesdays. Kissinger nails the three. That'll be enough out of you, Mr. Wright. <laughs> <laughs> I only shoot them when I'm open. <laughs> I always think I'm open. <laughs> Indlewood taking it hard to the hoop, but it's no good. Sheboygan's Kissinger comes away with it. Long feed to Tudis. Oh. Well, she, she had the ball tipped away and then got control and tried to gather herself, but uh, did walk on her way to the hoop. Well, they got uh, Corzin back at the point. Inside feed to uh, Indlewood, and again, she puts it down. She has 15 on the night. And then Candace just backs in there and puts it off the glass, and in we go. 10-20 remaining. And uh, Kramer dragging a foot. 10-21 remaining in the ball game. It's 58-42, Harper College on top, as they've been uh, all night. But not always by this much. Pass inside to uh, Corzin, and then she tries to throw a bounce pass across the lane, but that goes out of bounds. Coming in is uh, Gina Gorak. Well deserved rest for Candace Indlewood. Double double for her. Well, I was talking to a couple of the fans before the game. Chris and I said, well, who are a couple of players we need to look at, you know, it's, and 20 and 32. Mm -hmm. Shorb and Indlewood were the two big players in the, what'd she do? Foul. Okay, we'll give uh, Gorak a foul. But, uh, you know, the other person I think they could have mentioned would have been Bugalski because uh, she's really played a good game. Of course, maybe she didn't play so good the first four. Nikki Schmidt with a big smile on her face runs in. Sheboygan's gonna make a run, they gotta do it soon. Oh, nice little play. Oh, Harris, uh, smell that out. Got a hand up and blocked Schmidt's fall, uh, shot. Corzin taking it hard to the hoop. And uh, violation, I guess. Travel. Travel. Two of us being closely guarded. Two this shot attempt is uh, short. And she goes to the floor. I don't know if she was bumped by Corzin or not, but there is no foul call. And uh, Sheboygan with another timeout, 30-second timeout. Well, I think we mentioned this before, Chris, but our next game will be uh, right here on uh, Monday, the 29th of November, when uh, Marinette, I believe, Marinette comes in. comes in to play the guys. And then on Friday of that week, which would be December 3rd, Green Bay West will be uh, into Sheboygan playing uh, the Red Wings. They got a good point guard up there at West. It'll be interesting to see how uh, 
The success of the football team uh, translates into success in basketball. I know uh, a couple years ago when Sheboygan Christian won the state in uh, soccer, Brett Flipsy said on the show that he expected a lot of those kids to uh, come through with uh, good basketball seasons, which they did. Yep. yep. Green Bay West will have Orlando Anderson. He's a good one. North having to reload. Yeah, but I think they'll be okay. Uh, I think they'll be okay too. They got Kyle Touchlog back. KT. KT, Peter Worth. That fall goes on Gorak, her second. Kramer's on the line. Brian Herman turning. Trevor Gruby. I see uh, Hermie was mentioned in uh, one of the top seniors along with the Tetchlog in the basketball Bible. And Tim Stubbe will run in the show for South. Put back by Kissinger is good and uh, Sheboygan trying to close the gap. It's uh, still 13 with uh, just over nine minutes remaining in the ball game. And all the Sheboygan North women are picked to uh, finish second in the league behind Southwest in a conference that's got a lot of returning players. And I see where uh, they lost their first game to De Pere. Yep. In a close one, way down, made a great comeback, but uh, fell just short. There you see Coach uh, Heather Cush talking to uh, Nia Jones and uh, Natalie Bugalski. Rauschenberg uh, not able to get anything off against uh, Nikki Schmidt, who played some real good defense inside. Harris has the ball tipped away. <laughs> I'll tell you, it's a little bit of a circus out there. <laughs> Shorb uh, takes care of that though. Makes a short one, Chris. Yeah, the first oh, she's bucket a, in the paint tonight. I'll tell you, she's having a terrible second half, only five points. <laughs> Gives her 26 on the night. Two for eight from the floor though. 10 for 26. She's over a attempt for a minute now. Good pass. Uh, Kissinger again with a real nice look and can't get it to go. And again, she, and she's like, what in the world am I doing? You just wonder again if she's just tired. Well, her legs sure. just aren't going. Yeah, I, I, I'd agree with you on that. And then, you know, and I'm sure that's part of it now, but uh, she had that problem earlier in the game, you know, before she got uh, as fatigued as she is now. She's just six for 19. Well, I'll tell you, she's got enough energy to get that three-pointer up to the basket. Seventeen, fifteen seconds. No, tipped away by Gorak. She's going to go hard to the basket and can't get it. She's fouled by Jackie Kramer. Gorak had a basket in the first half. This will be her uh, first trip to the line. Just eight turnovers for Sheboygan in the second half, so they clean that up a little bit. But now the shooting's kind of just gone to, to the sales. Well, they hit on uh, 11 of 15 seat. free throws in the first half, and uh, so far in the second, they've only attempted three. I don't know who's gonna get it. Good rebound, I guess, for Lizaway. Lizaway's pass is knocked away by Bugalski. She's in the ball game playing with four fouls. Situation there, Sheboygan continues to have to give the ball up before they're in a position to pass. They're almost too far away from where they want to get rid of it. Good pass inside to Tudis and then she goes to the floor and loses it. Goes as a turnover. Nikki Schmidt was wide open under the basket on that. Yeah, and I think uh, she saw that. I think she wanted to get her the ball, but uh, just couldn't gather it in. The maroon shirt's closed up on uh, Beth there.
Rauschenberg cut off at the baseline, and then Schmidt knocks the pass out of bounds. Away from uh, Megan Harris. Gina Gorak is going to toss it in for Harper. The Harper Hawks. I was going to say Harper Valley PTA. Kissinger on the breakout. She's got Schmidt leading the pack. Nice pass and an easy layup. Good work, Kissinger to Schmidt. And that's Schmidt's first hoop of the second half. She has 11 now in the ball game. Wawelski's pass is knocked away. Nia Jones in the game for uh, Harper. Shot clock under 10. Good defensive stand by Sheboygan. Travel. Yep, good call, coach. Shuffle the feet before she got the ball on the floor. Good defense there by Sheboygan. A lot of ladies still down in their stance. 6.15 remaining in the ball game. Nice to see if they got it under uh, 10, just once to see what would happen. Oh, Obink, good pass inside to Schmidt for the two. Well, I, you see what they want to do, Marty, all year. I think they want to bang it down low. They want to use Kissinger and uh, Schmidt, and a lot of emphasis was done there earlier in the game. They kind of went away to it a little bit in the second half. That's why Schmidt doesn't have the attempts she had. And now we're going to get a timeout. Well, when we come back, uh, we'll talk about that point a little more. With uh, 5.55 remaining, it's Harper 61, Sheboygan 49. Schools. I battle injustice. I eradicate landmines. I feed the hungry. I shape international policy. I protect children. I fight for human rights. I find homes for refugees. I dig wells. I develop economies. I teach people to read. I influence the president. I heal the sick. I comfort the grieving. I make the world better. I make a difference. I change the world, so can you. <laughs> I'm Bob McGrath. And I'm Big Bird. And we love to make music. Music can help kids learn. Did you know that making music, any music... Like Twinkle Twinkle? Uh, right, like Twinkle Twinkle Little Star can help your child with language, reading, and even math. And it's lots of fun, too. To find out how children learn and grow with music, visit www.amc-music.org. And you'll see... Music works wonders. Yeah, it sure does. Chris, we were, before we went to the break, you were mentioning about uh, Sheboygan's general strategy, you know, is to bang it inside to Schmidt and Kissinger, but, uh, you know, one of the things that makes it really hard to do is when you don't get the ball over half court or, you know, you right. can't make that pass to the wing. Right, and they're also delivering the passes a little bit too far away. They've got to bring it up a little bit closer and get a better angle into the post. Like I said, though, just the second game, so lots of things to fix. Long season ahead. Before their season's over, there'll be snow on the ground. Well, Indlewood uh, did a pump fake and a drive to the hoop, but she shuffled her feet before the ball went down. Nine turnovers for uh, Harper here in the Second half and oh, uh, there's pass the Kissinger is uh, over her head and yeah, it's just exactly what we're talking about. Just delivering from too far away and you know you want it to work, but again you're forcing things and it's got to travel a long distance and at this level, kids seem to uh, anticipate a little bit better as well, get deflections and things and most of the time it's adding it up to turnovers. Gorak trying to go baseline, but Lizaway stops that. And Lizaway right in on the action on the pass to Harris. I gotta compliment the defense. It's really improved here of late. Boy, and you watch Kissinger bring the ball up like that, it makes you think their inside players are also their good outside players. Shot is off. 
Tudis missed it, but uh, Schmidt got the rebound, put back, and is fouled. Foul goes on Harris, her fourth. And uh, Dominique Schorb, who has 26 points, comes in and going out is Gina Gorak. There you get a great shot of uh, Nikki Schmidt getting ready to shoot the free throw. She's three for three in a ball game from the line. All of those coming in the first half. Looking for her uh, 16th point. That makes the score 62, pardon me, 61 to 52. Hey, we're under 10, yeah. see what they do here. They're in the final, uh, final eighth of the game here. Defense has definitely increased. Well, inside pass, Harris has it tipped away, but uh, Indlewood got it back and put it up and in. Well, she was set out for a few minutes and uh, gets back in and right away she makes a uh, Big play. Lead back up to 11 for Boy. Harper. Sheboygan's gonna have to score almost every time. Kissinger. Good job. Oh. She used that body, you know, to get position, and uh, even though she missed the first shot, she got the rebound put back. 25 points for Kissinger. 11 rebounds, too. Nia Jones from outside the line. Off, no good, but Shorb comes off with the rebound. Pass inside to Indlewood. And Harper running clock. Ball tipped away, Kissinger with the steal. And Shorb bumping on the way down, gets called for the foul, that's her fourth. Sheboygan will be at the line shooting the bonus. Yep. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yes, Scott, the bonus. <laughs> All right, Kissinger on the line. Dominique Shorb has 26 points with a free throw make. Kissinger could equal that. Big difference between uh, Dominique and uh, Becky Kissinger is uh, Kissinger's uh, been a little more balanced in her uh, scoring between the halves. No good, Kissinger gets it back. Nice pass to Schmidt. Shot is off, no good. Kissinger's rebound shot is no good. Then she gets away with a foul. And Harper has it. Golden opportunity there for Sheboygan. Yeah, really. Indlewood's shot is no good, and uh, I think that was Dominique Shorb, whose uh, close in shot was no good. She's claiming she was fouled. And uh, Schmidt trying to gather herself, shuffled her feet. Another turnover, costly too. 3.05 remaining, they're down nine. She can handle the ball. Yes, she can. Harris inside is fouled by Schmidt. That's the third foul on Nikki. And uh, Harris will go to the line. Hey, Molesky uh, giving some instructions. Harris looking for her seventh point. Well, Harper's uh, leaving the door open a little bit, Chris. Sheboygan needs to make some plays. Three minutes is still a long time, but again, a lot of opportunities under the basket for uh, Sheboygan. They just gotta finish. Megan Harris puts in the second. It's a 10 point advantage. We're under three minutes. Harper on top. Get up, get up. 
Schmidt has it at the free throw line, kicks it back out to Lizaway, and they're working the perimeter. And a good help defense by Candace Indlewood. I'll tell you, she's uh, done it on both ends of the court for uh, Harper. Wigulski has it. 10 seconds left on the shot clock. Indlewood open for the jumper and got it. Wow, that could just about seal it. I don't know, she's got that little bit of a knack, Chris, for uh, getting herself open. You know, she took one or two dribbles and uh, all of a sudden the defense cleared and she gathered herself, went straight up for the hoop. Full timeout, we'll take a timeout also with 2.02 remaining in the ball game. Harper College up 66 to 54. Competition is all about potential. The opportunity to look inside yourself, to challenge yourself, to be better than you ever dreamed imaginable. Junior achievement is also about dreams and the potential to make those dreams come true. JA's free enterprise education programs help kids say, I can, when everything around them says, you can. Junior Achievement, let their potential be your inspiration. I love the challenge of computers. Not that I have much time with these little guys and my job, but when my wife went back to school, I thought, why can't I? Certain things in life demand my attention, but a new career in computer science deserves my attention. An evening class at Lakeland doesn't tie my life in knots, thanks to a flexible, easy to manage schedule that allows me to balance work, school, and the twins. Evening classes that meet once a week, that's the easy part. Ooh, look at all those trophies, Chris. Lots of years of sports out here at the center. I'll tell you, the, the price is right. And get a good education and get to stay close to home, which may be good or bad. Save a little money to get yourself set up to go to a different program in Sheboygan. Most of the uh, students here are two-year players that play here that can only play two years, right? Two-year college. I mean, actually, you can go here all four years. Right, but I'm just saying for sports. For sports. Candace Indlewood committed her third foul. Kissinger on the line. Puts it in. A nice form on those two free throws, Chris, and that uh, cuts the lead to 10, but there's only 151 remaining. Comes a press by the Lady Wombats. Cut her off, there you go. Indlewood shot amazingly is no good. She hasn't missed many of those kind. But uh, Harris got the rebound, and then uh, I believe it's uh, Beth Tudis picking up the foul. That's uh, Tudis's fourth, and uh, Harris, Megan Harris, is going to be on the line shooting the one and one. Harris hits the first. What was your halftime score here? 42 to 28. So it's basically played them pretty even here in the second half. Yep. Nikki Schmidt came away with that rebound. Lizaway's pass is almost picked off. Little backdoor move by uh, Schmidt and she can't get it in. We've seen that before though. Yeah, and I'll tell you, it's just the way they drew it up on the offense too. And uh, Schmidt broke open for the nice put, or not put back, but the short jump shot. She just couldn't get it in. And uh, Dominique Schaub went down hard, and uh, Heather Kush wanted a foul, but none was called. Lizaway's pass inside to Schmidt. Her shot is off again. Indlewood with the rebound. 
Under a minute. Hindlewood shot is off again. Kissinger has it. Takes it in. He's got it. Uh, Natalie Bugalski had it back off, you know, with uh, four falls, Chris. Plus, with the big lead, you don't want to fall anyways. You're better to give up the layup. Oh, exactly. And Bugalski uh, loses the ball out of bounds. 38.7 seconds remaining. Sheboygan not out of it yet. I don't know if they have any. Well, they call one, a full timeout. Did they have a full before that? They get four and two, I thought it was maybe three and three. Well, with that full timeout and 38.7 seconds left, Harper on top by nine, 67 to 58. But Sheboygan does have the ball out of bounds. Uh, they need a bit of a miracle, but it's certainly not out of the question. They're gonna need to make a three. Oh, that's exactly what I was thinking. And then they need to foul. And then well, they need to come down and get a two. I was I was thinking maybe a three and then a steal. There you see uh, Terry Verstrati on the left, Scott Schaus in the foreground, and Scott Otten in the background. I don't know, Scott wears that basketball well. No, I was wondering if he wants to get home for Monday Night Football. Football. <laughs> I was wondering if he was ready. Probably be I want to get home just so I can see the opening. <laughs> see, see. <laughs> <laughs> see what they come back with, wonder if they have a bunch maybe, of... Well, maybe one of those other desperate housewives was <laughs> bargaining to get on TV. Probably some church group on there this week for uh, ABC. <laughs> Yeah, probably a few points tonight between New England and Kansas City in Kansas City tonight. Defense at a minimum. Ooh, I don't know. New England's got pretty good defense. Tudis tossing it in. Kissinger's got it. Ooh, she's open from three-point land. Can't get it. Schmidt with the rebound. Backs in. Hook shot is off. Indlewood with the board, and then she's... No call. Looked like she got tied up. Ball goes out of bounds, and Sheboygan will have it again. 26.3. It's a pretty much of a stretch now, I think, Chris. Quite. Because it's a stretch of 38.7. <laughs> Tudis backing away. Her shot is blocked. Well, fans are complaining about uh, Tudis leaning in, and uh, they got a gripe, <laughs> a legitimate one. Tudis wide open, hard off the rim, no good. Ugalski's got it, Shorb's got it. No falls, girls, no falls. Nobody gets hurt. Hindlewood. Corazon. And ball game. Well, Sheboygan comes out losing on the short end, 67 to 58. Harper comes away with their first one of the year. They're now one and four. Sheboygan 0 and two. And uh, let's talk a little bit before we break away uh, for good, Chris. Uh, Sheboygan has a good game plan. Uh, they just need a point guard to execute it. Yeah, a few too many turnovers in the first half and uh, a lot of shots inside tonight, Marty, that just didn't seem to fall. Uh, you can see the idea is to get Becky Kissinger and Nikki Schmidt the balls. They each had well over 20 sh uh, shot attempts each. Uh, they just got to get them to get go down. And, of course, delivering the ball to them with turnovers as well. Sheboygan played relatively well in the second half, um, basically outscoring uh, Harper, but it was too, too much too late for uh, them tonight. Well, leading scorers, uh, Sheboygan's Becky Kissinger led everybody with 29 points. She had uh, 14 in the first half and 15 in the second and uh, was really a force. And uh, she's looking at a 40-point night if she could have made some of those uh, uh, finish some to watch. Them. Yeah. And uh, also chipping in with uh, 16 points was uh, Nikki Schmidt. And again, she had a strong game, uh, but uh, again, at times just couldn't seem to finish. Harper was led by Dominique Shorb, who had 26. Uh, Megan, pardon me, Candace Indlewood had 19. 
and Megan Harris had eight. Uh, so all in all, uh, not the best of performances for Sheboygan, but uh, Brian's just having too much fun <laughs> getting his camera on us. Second, but, second game of the year too, and they'll, they'll improve and uh, getting Tam Tammy Miller back will help. Def that'll shore up that point guard situation as well. Guys are uh, three and zero, and they've got a game tonight. Uh, obviously, we'll have to check tomorrow night's paper to see how they do. But we'll be out here next Monday to uh, cover them. And the worst would be a three and one Sheboygan team, which uh, should be pretty good against yep. Mar Marathon. Marinette. Yep. yep. Luke Mills coming back. I know he's one of the big players there, the Us Usberg grad. Okay, Brian's giving us the signal. Wrap it up. So we're going to. Thanks a lot for watching, everybody. Okay, one more time. It was uh, Sheboygan a loser, 67 to uh, 58. We'll see you down the road. So long, everybody.